world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. <coughs> Excuse me. Today I want to show you something new. I'm not going to show you both. The other one I'll put away um, to show you later. But this I want to show you. I got my first few pickled fish knives in. Okay, now pickled fish is a company um, started by... Uh, Mr. Aldu, actually I think Aldu is his first name, and then it's a design in South Africa made by OEM's type of deal. Okay, but they are extremely budget friendly. Okay, now I'm not sure if you will get them anywhere else but in South Africa. I don't actually know, but I will link the company to the door in the description. Okay, inside we get these black boxes, and then inside we get a cloth. Let's see what the cloth looks like. I suppose it's going to look like a cleaning cloth, but let's still see. Fantastic. Beautiful little very functional cloth. Okay, that's always nice to get a little bit extra. The knife is not in there. I took it out already. But why do I want to show you this day? Because it's St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And it's green. Oh, this is the wrong knife. That's my red one. And it's green. Okay, so this is the pickled fish knife. Beautiful micarta scales. Um, very grippy. Okay, but it doesn't feel like your normal micarta. Let's see if you can see that. Can you see that? See if we can get a bit more light here. There we go. Okay, so it's beautiful my card. I love the orange pivot color with the green. And then we have a backspacer. I cannot see what it is. It might be G10. It might be the same my card. It might be plastic. I don't know. Okay, we have full liners and the liners protrude a little bit. So we get this not really a shadow box effect. It's too small, but it looks really nice and neat. Now, this is not a big knife, okay, but it's a nice mid-size, I suppose, knife. This one is called the Viper. And look at that beautiful shape. That is marvelous. Okay, we have a very nice, um, what do you call it, stone wash going on over here, and it says pickled steel. I said pickled fish, right. I know I did. Pickled steel. Sorry. Um... And then over here we see this one, I think, is the only one that's in 8CR. The rest are in D2, and then you can get all kinds of Damascus and whatnot. They have quite a lot of models in quite a lot of different flavors. Okay, so it says Viper and 8CR13. Now, this one is only a flipper. Okay, and it flips quite nicely. Now, this one is on bearings. Now, I don't know if I haven't played with it enough, but it's, well, and it's a light blade. But there's no problem with the action. The action is very nice. Now, you detent lovers out there, it doesn't have a super hard detent, so you can fail it. Okay, but if you flick it, it flicks. That's what we want. But the shape of this knife just grabbed me. I really like that. We have a nice pocket clip. It's little button screws, but the pocket clip is actually recessed. Uh, okay, right side tip up only but that's the way we want it okay and then we have a lanyard there at the back or a lanyard hole at the back fantastic little knife okay and for the money um okay i cannot remember the actual prices but check the link it's something like i think it's 600 rand yeah i think it's about 600 rand for this knife now this is an awesome knife now i checked out um Pickled Steel on Facebook, and um, Aldi was talking about these knives, and he said this could also be a woman's knife or a lady's knife, and I do agree. Okay, it's not small, don't get me wrong there, you can get a nice four-finger grip on it, but you feel it kind of catching you over here. So if you have fat hands than mine, you will maybe have to fall off the back a bit but you'll have to have monkey paws to have that problem okay so this thing is quite awesome i love this i love the way it feels flat ground blade um it's not thick behind the edge it's also not thin behind the edge very very acute point it's one of those finger skin grabbers 
And I just like the way it feels and the way when you do things with it, what it feels like. It's an awesome, awesome little knife. This is a great EDC size knife, and I think it's a great EDC knife. Um, when we get into the D2 ones, that's some real great value. Not that I'm saying this one is less, but this one I think is actually a great EDC knife because you don't have to worry about corrosion and whatnot. And the hardy does are outside and they are bothering me and planes and people blowing things. But I suppose that's because it's St. Patrick's Day. On the 17th of March, we're all Irish. So let's do Irish things like drink beer. Okay, that's me for today. We're going to make a quick one. Yeah, we're going to do a quick one. Okay, I don't know what we're going to do next, but we'll do something awesome tomorrow. And this is a long weekend here in South Africa, so thank goodness. So I'm going to wrap this up now and start my long weekend. I have to work a lot, but it's fine. Um, all of you, have a fantastic weekend. If you're in South Africa, have a fantastic long weekend. Stay safe, happy, have a good one. And Pickled Steel, go check them out. Goodbye. Thank you.